Hey, hey, hey! Do you know what is the cheapest quad core smartphone on the market right now? Tada! It's this one. W450 in my hand right now. And yeah, here's the box. And I am going to show you guys how awesome, oh, how awesome this phone is. Okay, you ready? See how fast the phone is, the phone is turned on. Less than 10 seconds, I would say, probably like five seconds. And, okay, let's see. Right now, it is selling for only a hundred dollars or ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents, and it is the newest um, CPU, and six five eight two, and it is quad core. Right. And it's, it is on our homepage, so you can see it right away when you go to Geek Buying. And I've been playing with it for a couple hours, and it's. it's it's a really great phone. Okay, let's take a look at um, storage. So it has one gig of RAM and four gig of ROM or ROM. Okay, and okay, here's language. Yep, support many different languages and. Phone. So it is Android 4.2.2 Jeremy No? Okay Oh <laughs> Alright So this is Android 2 benchmark then the score is really really impressive. I couldn't believe it at first because when I saw the price, it's like hundred dollars. Yeah, probably not too good. But yeah, I was amazed when I saw the score. And I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with the details, but here it has a very very high RAM operation score and speed, as well as GPU. Those are pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at device info. So the model is W450, as mentioned previously, Android 4.2.2, and MTK 6582 M. Um, I'm not sure if you can see from the video, but then the resolution is 480 times 854, but then, um, in my opinion, it actually looks better than that. So the screen is probably pretty good. Um, it is 4.5 inch. Capacitive touchscreen, um, TFT. Okay. Uh, the back camera is eight megapixel, and front camera is two megapixel. So frequency is up to one point three gigahertz, which is really good. Yeah, and those are the things that the phone support and does not support. So I've seen. Um, the score is higher than a lot of MTK 6589T and yeah, I was pretty shocked or <laughs> amazed when I saw it. Okay, this is n hardware tester. It only has two multi-touch finger points. Okay, that's fine. And here's LCD test. Okay, so... Now let's take a look at <laughs> the back of the phone. Okay, so the battery is in there obviously. It supports a um, regular SIM card and a micro SIM card. This is for TF card. Um, support, um, I think it's 32 gigabyte externally. And um, it's pretty thin, if you can see, it's about um, Nine millimeters or less than that. It's a power button, volume control, earphone jack, and USB port. So it feels pretty good, great when you hold it in your hands because it's not too big. So for someone who has like tiny hands as me, 
Yeah, you still feel pretty comfortable when you hold it. Okay, let's see the camera. So it does have auto focus and flashlight. Well, I'll go too bright. Yeah. So it's pretty dim in this room and you can see the flashlight is pretty good and all the settings on the camera works pretty good too. And let's see. I've downloaded a video for you guys too. See the graphics and color are pretty vivid and very bright, I would say. And those are some nice photos. You can zoom in all the way. Yeah, so it's, it's running very fluently and very smooth. And it has no problem when I play games or whatsoever. So I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with this little mobile glove on my hand. And the 3D graphics is nice too. That's why it has such high amplitude score, it's probably why. So if they improve the skill resolution by a little bit, I think it will be like even better. It has no problem when playing play, when playing 3D games like this. Alright, let's quit. Let's see. I've got another game that's Subway Surfer. And now it's the world tour has went to has gone to New Orleans. So this game has no problem either. It's pretty good. And I mean, um, 4.5 inch screen is probably not as big as 5 inch. But then if you don't have too high demand of, you know, four screens, this is probably good enough. And then um, it has advantage that it can fit easily nice in your pocket. Ah! I think that's all the games I've got. And well, yeah, so guys, please check it out. It is, it is the cheapest core smartphone right now, and you don't want to miss it. So, yeah, please let me know if you have any questions, and please don't forget to add us on our Facebook page. Thank you for your time. Bye.